space. Welcome to Point Nemo, the most remote location on our planet, where human footprints never reach. Yet, the cosmos brushes near. This is the story of the loneliest spot on Earth. What is Point Nemo? Point Nemo isn't hidden in myths or fantasy. It's real, buried in the South Pacific Ocean. It is the oceanic pole of inaccessibility, the precise spot in the sea that lies farthest from any land. Location and meaning. It rests at coordinates approximately 48 degree 52, 6S 123 degree 23, 6W, placing it roughly 2,688 kilometers. That's about 1,670 miles from the nearest land on all sides. The name Nemo, Latin for no one, nods to Captain Nemo of 20,000 leagues under the sea, a symbol of solitude and oceanic wanderlust, nearest points of land. These islands form the triangle that surrounds and defines Nemo's isolation. 1. Ducey Island, Pitcairn Islands. To the north 2, Motu Nui, near Easter Island. To the northeast 3, Mahir Island, off Antarctica to the south. This circle of isolation spans an area roughly larger than France or comparable even to the former Soviet Union. Despite its remoteness, Point Nemo is not marked by anything special on the surface. It's just endless rolling waves and sky. Discovery, history, and name origins. Point Nemo may feel timeless, but its discovery is surprisingly recent. Discovery, it was located in 1992 by Hervoye Lukatela, a Croatian-Canadian survey engineer using geospatial modeling to solve what's known as the longest swim problem, finding the point in the ocean farthest from land. Lucatella achieved this not by physically visiting the area, but by calculating it with computer mapping and geographic information systems, GIS, a method that allowed scientists to pinpoint locations with extreme accuracy. Interestingly, because of its isolation, Lucatella himself never actually traveled to Point Nemo, and very few people have physically reached it since. The discovery also underscored how much of our planet remains unmapped and unvisited, despite advances in technology. In a way, Point Nemo became a symbol of how computers and mathematics can uncover frontiers that human exploration hasn't yet touched. Why Nemo? Inspired by Jules Verne's brooding Captain Nemo, who traversed the ocean depths, no one perhaps more fitting anywhere. The name also plays on its Latin meaning, no one, perfectly describing a place that is both inaccessible and largely uninhabited cementing its identity as Earth's most lonely spot, an ocean desert. So, what do you find at Point Nemo if you ever manage to get there? Well, not much at all. The region is often called an oceanic desert because it's so far from land that nutrient-rich waters rarely reach it. With no major ocean currents circulating nutrients into the area, marine life is scattered compared to more productive regions like coastal waters or coral reefs. The few organisms that do live here, like certain types of plankton and bacteria, have adapted to survive in extremely nutrient-poor conditions. Scientists have described these waters as some of the least biologically active in the entire ocean, a place where life seems to struggle against emptiness. In fact, when researchers sampled the region, they found shockingly low biodiversity, leading some to call it the closest thing Earth has to an aquatic wasteland. Closer to space than to land, Here's where things get truly mind-bending. If you're standing at Point Nemo or floating, since there's no land, you are actually closer to astronauts aboard the International Space Station than to any other human being on Earth. The ISS orbits at around 408 kilometers, 253 miles, above Earth's surface, making it often the nearest inhabited place when you're at Point Nemo. In contrast, the nearest human on solid ground would be over 2,688 kilometers, 1,670 miles away. That means at any given time, there may be more humans flying above your head in orbit than within sailing distance on Earth. This bizarre reality has led many to call Point Nemo a place where space feels closer than civilization. The phenomenon also highlights just how vast and empty the South Pacific Ocean truly is, stretching wider than many continents. It's one of the only places on the planet where human connection is more likely to come from space communications than from a ship or aircraft. The spacecraft cemetery Point Nemo has another, even stranger claim to fame, 
It's home to the so-called Spacecraft Cemetery. Since the 1970s, space agencies including NASA, Russia's Roscosmos, the European Space Agency, and Japan's JAXA have deliberately navigated more than 260 defunct satellites, cargo ships, and space stations into this watery grave. The reason? Its complete isolation makes it the safest place on Earth to crash massive space debris without risking lives or property. In 2001, the Russian space station Mir, weighing over 120 tons, was guided into Point Nemo's waters in a fiery descent. Even today, when the International Space Station is retired in the 2030S, it is expected to meet the same fate in this oceanic graveyard. Engineers prefer Point Nemo because its remoteness minimizes danger, but also because the Pacific's vastness makes retrieval nearly impossible, ensuring wrecks stay hidden. Over time, the site has become an unreal blend of human technology, meaning ultimate isolation, where our most advanced machines end their journey in the planet's most barren waters. Plastic even in the void. Despite being so far removed from humanity, Point Nemo has not escaped one of the planet's greatest crises, plastic pollution. Ocean currents carry fragments of microplastics thousands of miles, and even the waters around this oceanic pole of inaccessibility are contaminated. Scientists studying samples from the area have detected traces of plastics so small they're invisible to the naked eye, showing that no place on Earth is truly untouched by human activity. What's particularly alarming is that these microplastics can enter the marine food chain, being consumed by plankton and tiny fish that form the base of the ecosystem. Over time, these pollutants may accumulate up the food web with unknown consequences for ocean health, even in a place as desolate and unreachable as Point Nemo, the fingerprints of human industry can still be found, a reminder that environmental impact knows no borders. Modern Explorations and Voyages Very few ships or expeditions deliberately pass through Point Nemo. It's simply too remote, too wretched, and holds little practical value for trade or transport. Yet, in modern times, the location has fascinated adventurers, sailors, and scientists who seek the challenge of crossing the world's most isolated waters. In fact, the area is often bridged during solo round-the-world yacht races, such as the Vendée Globe, where sailors deliberately cross the longitude of Point Nemo as a symbolic milestone. In one remarkable naval expedition, the INSV Tarini under Navika Sagar Parikrama II, two Indian Navy women officers, Lieutenant Commanders Dilna K and Rupa A, deliberately charted through Point Nemo during their circumnavigation, collecting water samples en route. For these modern voyagers, Point Nemo has become both a milestone and a symbol of ultimate isolation, proof that they've reached one of Earth's most unreachable coordinates. Imagination, myth, and mystery. Point Nemo isn't just a geographical curiosity, it has fueled imagination for decades. Science fiction author H.P. Lovecraft weirdly placed his legendary city of Arlie, the resting place of the cosmic entity Cthulhu, almost exactly at Point Nemo's coordinates, years before it was officially discovered. This coincidence has sparked endless speculation among fans of the mythos, who view Point Nemo as a real-world anchor for Lovecraft's dark universe. Adding to the mystery, researchers once detected an unexplained underwater sound in 1997, nicknamed the Bloop, not far from Point Nemo. At first, conspiracy theorists connected it to Lovecraft's Cthulhu, suggesting a monster awakening in the deep. Later analysis revealed it was most likely the sound of icebergs cracking and shifting underwater, but the legend of something alive still clings to Point Nemo. Even today, its remoteness makes it a canvas for myths, from sea monsters to alien bases, each story adding another layer of mystique to this already haunting stretch of ocean. And that's the mystery of Point Nemo, a place so remote that even astronauts orbiting above us are closer to human life than anything on Earth's surface. From being a graveyard for spacecraft to sparking myths of sea monsters and alien secrets, Point Nemo reminds us just how vast and unknown our oceans still are. If you enjoyed diving into this strange and lonely corner of the planet, Make sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and drop a comment with your thoughts. Do you think there are still secrets lurking in the depths near Point Nemo? And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more stories that explore the hidden wonders of our world and beyond.